Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to deploy our Laravel project on Hostinger. Let's see how we can do that. Okay. Look, this is one of my project and I want to deploy this project to Hostinger. Okay, so what are the steps we have to follow? Let's see. First, we have to clear all cache. Okay, so go to our project code and, and here we have to run those command. After that, go to our project folder. Here you should remember one thing. Do not include dot get folder. Okay. And select rest all of this. Okay. And convert it to zip file. Okay. Then comes to third step. That is Hostinger setup. After login to Hostinger, go to Hostinger section and select your working website. Okay and it redirect to dashboard then go to file manager and open it here you should remember one thing if you are not using subdomain then go to public hyphen html folder then upload that zip file okay after that we have to extract that zip file and also remember one thing if you want to extract in same location means under html hyphen html folder then only input dot then click on extract okay after extracting if you want to delete zip file then you can delete it it's optional it depends upon you okay now our project was deployed on hosting then go to our website look page is not working error is showing so for that what to do let's see for that error we must have dot ht access file okay let's see whether it is present or not okay not present so let's create it dot ht access file and in that file we have to copy and paste this code okay now we have to click close and save okay now refresh our website look this error means database is not connected okay so in our next step is to how to extract database from our local okay first go to our respected database then click on export option after that click on go okay then it's downloaded okay then our next step is to be creating database in hosting jar okay for that go to our hosting jar dashboard then go to our database option then click on mysql databases then this type of phase is appear okay now we given our database name username and password okay then click on create okay after creating database the next step is to be edit our dot env file according to our requirement okay so first open dot env file and change its app url localhost to website url okay then comes to database here copy the database name username and password and paste it in dot env file okay then refresh our website look table was not found because we are not input our sql file that is our next step okay then click on php my admin then click on import option and choose our sql file then click on go okay after importing our sql file refresh our face look do one more thing go to our index.php and in that file we have to remove this step dot from here okay now now click on 
save and close and then refresh our website look and also i would like to show you one thing if you have reference php version means suppose our project has php 8 version our hosting service has PHP 7 version then this error message shown to us okay so just go to here and change its required version okay see you in the next video thanks for watching